Hello Zany friends, it is Lainey and welcome to another reading in the car book review. Basically I just got off work and I am now sitting in a parking lot again waiting for my husband. Do we see, do we see how this works? The book that I am reviewing and just finished is called Adequate Yearly Progress by Roxana Eldon. This book is uh, not a thriller like I usually read. It actually is just a work of fiction. I'm not exactly sure what first turned me on to this book, but basically this book tells a year of school in high school. Uh, from the point of view of the teachers in the high school, they, uh, it is kind of a topical book. It's, it's really about, you know, education and some of the pratfalls of education. You know, corporations and government want to hold certain standards to the schools and the teachers and, you know, set up guidelines for how they need to be presenting the information and how test scores are going to determine how a child is actually doing, etc. And this really tells it from uh, many different points of view, like the principals, the vice principals, and the teachers, whether they're tenured or whether they are, you know, only two years into teaching, and how their personal lives and their professional lives are struggling with all of this. Now, it may seem like this book is kind of a nonfiction book, but it's really not. It's a fiction book, and I actually really enjoyed it, despite the fact that it wasn't like one of those thrillers that was like, go, 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 go. I really enjoyed the tales of these teachers and how they had to, I mean, because they're kind of teaching in a, in a lower income high school, and they kind of had to really try to figure out how to connect to students who don't necessarily want to be there or be connected with. And I kind of connected to this book a lot in a lot of ways. For me personally, I always thought that, you know, if I had kids, I would not want them to go to an actual school, not just because of, you know, gun violence in schools like lately, but also because of just the standards at which the school is teaching and I have always thought that homeschooled would be better for my kids because of the kind of education that I got how I would want them to have you know a better education and I also really believe like yes I know it's hard we all work we all like have to provide for our families and I know a lot of parents don't have time to really teach their children, but I think this book really did bring to light how important it is for parents to actually have a role in the education of their children and not just say that it's okay to just send them somewhere or not even check up to see if they're going. You know, it's like, it's those kind of things. Like, you know, maybe if parents found a way to really be more involved in the education of the child rather than just, you know, trying to provide monetarily. And I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying any parent is wrong in how they're bringing up their kid. I'm basically saying that I think there's a lot of pressure on the teachers to be everything in a child's education. So before I start getting a lot of hate comments on that, I'm just saying that, that that is just something that I have been thinking about as a result of reading this book. So comment down below, let me know what you think about this book. Um, if you are interested in this kind of topic, this is probably a really good book for you to read, um, just especially because it's a fictionalized work. Um, but the stories are really great. Uh, there's a there's a girl who is a teacher and wants to be a poet. There's a guy who comes from a family of botanists and he grows up to be a science teacher because his dad didn't want him to be a botanist. There's a woman who her mother was like, don't be a nurse. So she ended up being a teacher. There's another girl who um, does like a teaching for America thing. Um, and she's like in her second year of doing that. So she's very new to the school. There's a principal who has been there forever, and there's a coach who coaches football, and he kind of has this whole other weird outside life situation <laughs> that happens. But yeah, that, I mean, it, just all the cast of characters are really interesting. So if you're interested, 
All the information will be down below. Thank you for listening to me ramble and let me know what you think. And until next time, stay zany.